Hey, ever since their early beginnings, it was obvious that mobile phone cameras may at one point take a shot on standard point-and-shoot ones. As time progressed, evolving technologies, processing power and intelligence have begun unleashing its potential, promising us even more, and that it's too early to set up the limits for its capabilities. One of the big contributors to this evolution were expansions or accessories, and what more could resemble a professional DSLR than smartphone interchangeable lenses. And accidentally, the folks from Sandmark have sent me one for review. So let's talk about it right here, right now. This video is powered by Blackbeard Hosting, so quick message and let's go. Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24-7 customer support, real people. Check it out. One month free trial, no credit card needed. With digital markings code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard Hosting. Hi friends and welcome to this Marketing channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button, don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This is the Sandmark's Wide Lens Edition package. As you can see, this version of the package is specifically made for the iPhone XS, which includes case for this iPhone. If you recall, my main and only device for now is the 2018 iPhone. But nevertheless, you can use it with other older or newer models, as well as with the appropriate case. So without further ado, let's unbox this thing. The small box is showcasing the short description, technical information, and the details about the content of the package. Once you open it, it seems quite rich inside. I pull out the clip on month first, followed by the iPhone XS hard case, which kind of feels durable and sturdy, the wide lens that was packed in a nice little bag that is not mentioned on the box, and a cleaning pouch, which I left forgotten. At least I admit my fault. I'm not gonna lie to you. This 16 millimeter lens has some weight, 71 gram, with its diameter that reaches 42 millimeters. This multi-element lens is multi-coated with protection from dust and scratches. Sandmark's wide lens edition brings 0.56 times magnification 110 degrees field of view. Mounting the lens can be easier. You can use it on a clip on a mount, which leaves more practical impression. And if you don't want to use Sandmark's case, in theory, it simplifies how you can mount it and unmount it quickly. But you have to make sure that you don't position it incorrectly because you may face some undesired vignette. So when I say it can be easier, I've meant with their case. If you look closely, there are two mounting positions for the main camera and the telephoto, at least on this iPhone XS case. It really depends how you're planning to shoot with your iPhone, but normally position it as the extension of the main camera, you will get the similar optical zoom feature. Mounting at the bottom position would not bring you anything special except for your portrait mode, which is the only option that is available in this case, since everything else is off limits. To run through this as quickly as possible, you can make portrait images, and this wide lens would just allow you a slightly wider shot. Think of it as the iPhone 10R mode, but without the option to edit aperture, and even having a bokeh effect. In other words, it doesn't work as it should, so that's all about it. We were running around Serbia a little bit, checking out a few spots, nothing special or breathtaking since this wasn't our first time doing this, more like filling the gaps. Just in order to make this more dramatic, I've included Sandra's iPhone 13 mini, which I've unboxed for her a few days ago. Without a doubt, its specs and image processing capabilities are killing the iPhone XS out of the water, with or without Sandmark's extension, unless we mention something like the bokeh effect, where the the iPhone 13 acts weird occasionally. The wide lens does what it's supposed to do and allows you to fit more elements into the frame with its wider angle. While scale to fit photos looked cool especially on the side of the wide lens or Sandmark's lens, in full close-up 10S alone was less 
grainy, even when ambient was really bright. But overall, image results were more than satisfying in terms of color, sharpness, dynamic range, and I didn't see much of a distortion. While you may get more when you unleash the power of this lens with the third-party apps, the colors of tennis with or without Sandmark are also okay, regardless of the situation and different light conditions. But if you really want something specific, you can always add extra flavor if you include special filters. Not to mention if you use newer iPhones with the latest internals, it will lift the quality and possibilities of your cameras by a huge margin. Obviously, there's always space for the improvement, but what I've seen so far I was really impressed and now this lens is like integral part of my iPhone hardware. So if you're on the move and you don't want to carry your big photo shooting guns, one of many Sandmark's lenses may surprise you. Which one would you go for? It really depends and it's up to you. Anamorphic lens, telephoto, macro, etc. Make sure you check their website, the link in the description and the pinned comment. This was a quick review of Wide Lens Edition by Sandmark. Hope you enjoyed this video video. I do have a question. Have you ever used one of these lenses? Please answer in the comment section below. I want to say thanks to Tanmark for sending me this awesome product and thank you my friends for watching this Tomarking channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. My name is Marco, talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.